Key U.S. inflation data is out later this week. Investors will be watching for signs of when there might be a change of policy from the Federal Reserve. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen has already said higher interest rates might actually be positive. An analyst explains what might happen if inflation takes hold. In terms of, of the, that price data, obviously we are seeing a significant increase in commodity prices, but at the moment markets are behaving as though that's a temporary phenomenon and therefore that uh, inflation remains something that we should be a bit concerned about, but not significantly so. The, obviously we're at uh, all-time lows effectively in terms of interest rates at the moment and markets have got very used to that. If we see interest rates beginning to increase in line with a rebound in economic activity, then I think that markets will probably take that sort of uh, thing in their stride. Um, if, however, we see inflation beginning to accelerate more quickly than markets are anticipating, then obviously that's going to be treated as being rather negative, not least of which because it'll start making other asset classes, notably fixed income, relatively speaking, a bit more attractive than they are at the moment. And that is the reason really why equities kind of remain the only game in town, if only because on an opportunity cost basis, everything else looks even more expensive. And what about the market outlook for Southeast Asia? Mr Davies outlines the challenges and opportunities that investors should look for. I think that uh, overall, ASEAN has had a pretty rough ride, not notwithstanding um, all others uh, over the course of the last sort of six months or so. Obviously, COVID is largely to blame for that. But having said that, as and when we do begin to see vaccination rates rising, as and when we begin to see lockdowns easing, then obviously these markets look as though they're overdue for quite a significant bounce. We're still seeing a lot of interest and uh, a lot of support for core markets like Vietnam, which are benefiting on an ongoing basis from people switching manufacturing capacity from China to other areas in Asia. And I think those are fundamental stories that are not going to go away anytime soon. So although Vietnam's had a really good year so far in 2021, we don't necessarily see that that picture is going to change for the negative.